I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Such important cultural artifacts. This is awful. We can't forgive this. Sinister writings. It looks like they were scrawled in blood. This one could be much stronger. You've really seen Helgens like this in that ruin? Yeah! 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 Yeah!
this statue. It radiates such dignity. You can tell from his expression that he must have been a great warrior. A fine man. I would like to see his entire body. Oh, but, but wouldn't he be more or less naked? That's what makes him attractive, in an aesthetic sense. Well, it's true that the perfectly toned body of a warrior may be aesthetically pleasing, but... Alicia! Unladylike! No, I only meant it as a generalization. I really have no personal interest in that sort of thing. Not at all, huh? I, I mean, not much. Just enough. The uh, normal amount. Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. Though it's true that King Claudin epitomizes the warrior ideal. Hold on, this is King Meliodas, right? Not King Claudin. What? But then it wouldn't match with the style at all. Yes, because this bust was carved as a speculation on the style of future generations. I think your interpretation is a bit far-fetched. Well, I think you're trapped in stereotypical views. Alright! Look, let's drop our preconceptions and start over then. Can we identify the subject? What features stand out? Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. something up. Must be the source. Lucky for you, it isn't a ghost, Nikleo. I told you it's not like that. Save it for later. Ready? Go! you would be here, attack. Oh my goodness! It's pretty Lady Lila. How you been? Oh, you never were a lick of fun. Is this a friend of yours? Sort of. It was a long time ago. My name's Attack. She is to please ya. That's a weird name. Well, aren't you rude? 
Don't you know that attack is a Norman name of the highest pedigree? Means I'm fancy. It looks sort of like the thing attached to Edna's umbrella. Let's save talk of Edna's thingy for later, shall we? That one's a particularly long story. It is it? Is? Hey, Lila, what's a Norman? They're a special kind of seraphim. They aren't quite as powerful as a lord of the land, but they can still be a help to other seraphim. How? Well, they have the ability to boost another seraph's power. They're kind of like a maid of sorts. That's my Lila! You know me like the back of your lily white hand. Like a maid? I'm afraid I'm not so sure I get it. Lila's explanations can be pretty off the cuff. <laughs> Silly billies like you could never understand what Lila and I mean to each other. I'm not sure I want to understand. Well, anyways, y'all are Lila's friends and all. Maybe I can treat you to some grub. That was a difficult battle. Let's restore our Nicholas Sunlight Girl, Jean Luc's Bloomer. This is a massacre! Who could have done such a thing? Uh, well. You did. You turned into a Hellion. I remember, it was me. I went out of my head, tore my beloved treasures apart, and... And now they're gone forever! that made you turn into a Hellion. I'm sure it's hard for you, but can you tell us about it? Well, I've always had a real big thing for art, you know? <laughs> Moved in here a good long while back. Got to whittle my days away, just people watching and gazing at fine art. I wasn't worshipped or nothing, but I weren't lonely neither. Sounds like a good life. I was happy. <laughs> Real happy. Since the countries took to fighting, the humans started to get real nasty. That country's bad, they'd say. That country's art is bad. Slash it. Burn it. So they used art just as fuel for the fires of war. It's true. And that ain't the half of it. <laughs> That's when they started to move the art on the black market. Oh, so that's where it all went. They were laughing and clutching their money in their, their grubby little hands! Hooray for war! Hooray for profits! I got so mad, so dejected, I felt my anger bubbling up, but I was beyond caring. And then... That's when I became a Hellion. It's not your fault, Attack. Thanks, son. I appreciate it and all, but I'd like to be alone for a little while. Ah. <sighs> 
Never thought that the source of all that malevolence would be the love of art. Yeah, that was unexpected. It's the Kingdom of Highland that caused attacks such pain. If only I had been able to do something. Malevolence can come from anyone's spirit. Especially when that spirit holds hate for other people. And for us Seraphim, the influence we receive from the vessel in particular can be a danger. So if I started generating malevolence, it'd put everyone in danger? All of us could become Hellions. <sighs> Saray, Alicia, the people in their despair cling to those with power that surpasses theirs far more tightly than you may imagine. Do not undervalue your ideals, nor the things that are in your power to accomplish. A shepherd's emotions towards the people he rescues are also his greatest enemy, in a way. Okay, understood. Didn't she just tell you not to be so stiff and serious? Oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> but I suppose I don't need to worry about you. We'll get started so you don't have to. Just doing what's within our power, right? Feels like the malevolence has been lifted somewhat, don't you think?